In this video, I will show you how to make over $100,000 as a cardiac sonographer in your first year. Full disclaimer, these numbers are averages of what you can expect in Southern California. Research the starting averages in your area and adjust the calculations. Also, just a side note, cardiac sonographer and echo tech are the same job with two different names. In most hospitals, employees are paid full-time hourly. This is good because you will get paid for every minute you work. Unlike jobs where you get paid salary and employers will try to give you more than 40 hours of work every week. So with that being said, let's get into the numbers. The starting wage for full-time cardiac sonographers is between $40 to $50 per hour. So on average, we'll use $45 per hour in our calculation. If you do the math, that's $45 per hour times 40 hours a week, and that times 52 weeks in a year equals $93,600 per year. Then you will have to add in call pay. From my experience, every hospital will require you to take call at least one day a week and one weekend per month. That's six call shifts per month. But you can always pick up more shifts. Aim for eight shifts per month or an average of two per week. On-call shift is when you are available for usually a 12-hour period to get called in for emergencies when no one is there. A common shift is 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. On average, call is paid at $10 per hour. This is even if they do not call you in, you will still get paid. So the calculation is 24 hours for two shifts per week times $10 per hour equals $240 extra per week, or $12,480 per year. Add this to our base pay of $93,600, and that will equal $106,080 per year. Another thing to consider is the fact that most new graduates will get their first job as a per diem employee. Per diem means as needed, so hours are not guaranteed. Most hospitals will fill full-time positions with employees who are already working as per diem. But some people can still get hired full-time as a new graduate if you give it time and apply broadly. But you can still earn over 100000 working as a per diem employee. What you need to do is pick up multiple per diem positions, at least two to string together 40 hours per week. The average pay for a per diem cardiac sonographer is between $45-55. The only downside is you do not get benefits and hours are up and down. Sometimes you can work 50 hours in a week and others it will only be 30 hours. It depends on the specific hospitals you work for. This is why you need multiple positions to cover the gaps. But let's do the calculations for per diem employees. So for a range of $45 to $55 per hour, we will take an average of $50 per hour. So that would be $50 per hour times 40 hours per week. And that times 52 weeks equals 104,000 per year. Also remember, you will still have to take call, which from our earlier calculation was 12,480 per year. Add these two together, and that's 116,480 per year. Remember, these are starting pay wages. The hospital I'm currently working at is a little on the lower end. With three years experience, I'm at $46.60, but I'm able to take four call shifts per week. Our call shifts are 14 hours and paid at $10 per hour. For four shifts per week, that amounts to $560 extra per week at my hospital. One tip is to find a hospital where they rarely call you in. In the past, I worked at a hospital where I got called in every single time I was on call and it was miserable. The current hospital I work at rarely calls me in. I only get called in on average once every other month. So try to find a hospital that is like that. I think most hospitals are like that anyways, but ask around. Also, just to give you an idea, let's look at how much you can make by year five of experience. Most hospitals will give you the majority of raises by year five, but if your hospital is unionized, then you will most likely get raises every year of the contract as well. For the hospital I'm currently working at by year five, the base pay will be $54 per hour. So for our calculation, that would be $54 per hour times 40 hours. And that times 52 weeks equals 112,320. When you add the call pay of 12,480 per year, the total comes to 124,800. As you can see, being a cardiac sonographer can be very lucrative. If you're interested in becoming one, then watch this video on what to look for in schools and what kind of certification you will need. And don't forget to like and subscribe.